Hey everybody, in this quick tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how you can convert an alpha video, so like an MOV or a video with transparent masking information, convert that into a pop video format using pop video and then importing it into your iClone project. So the uh, effect that we're going to be converting in this tutorial is uh, this video you see here in After Effects. So say for example you've created this really cool uh, particle effect or what have you uh, in After Effects. Obviously I haven't created this, but uh, if you've created something cool in After Effects or any other software, you can then easily use it in your iClone project. So uh, I also have this uh, project that I'm going to be importing it into. Uh, this project right here with this uh, happy dude just... Uh, smiling and uh, charmed about something and we're going to put some hearts above his head. So let's go to the desktop now and you can see I have this hearts.mov uh, right here, this QuickTime movie. Now if I wanted to right click and drag this into my iClone project, uh, despite the fact that it has alpha information, iClone's not going to recognize that. Uh, so if we you know, import it in as a billboard there and use our align to, we can align to our character XYZ and the center, and we can zoom out a little bit, you can see the, this will be the video plane right there, and it'll just be a big black plane. Obviously that's not going to work for our purposes here because we can't see his face. We can see the hearts, but not his face. So let's go ahead and just delete that, and we need to import in a transparent video. So let's go over into Pop Video here, and we're going to select a new project, import our file, you can also use the Control i hotkey, and we'll import that hearts video. From the desktop. And notice that when I do this, uh, it's going to go directly into video and image uh, edit mode right here, or sorry, mask video image mode, uh, the tool right here. Uh, it automatically does that when you import in an MOV or a file with transparent video information. And this uh, field right here will also be, will also contain the uh, same file path that contains that alpha information. All right, and so if I play back from this point right here, you can see there's our transparent video so everything is fine and dandy so really all we need to do here is go into export mode now uh, so let's go into the export uh, tab and we're going to choose pop video as our format obviously we don't have to worry about the uh, quality right now of the uh, audio and video I'm just going to do this really quickly for you um, you can choose to mute the audio um, the manual input for the output size uh, we're going to keep it the way it is because it pretty much takes up the whole uh, frame here uh, you can always crop if you want to as well. Uh, we follow how to do that in other tutorials. But uh, one of the advantages of uh, pop video as well is you can export with preview size video. So this lowers the resolution when you import it into iClone, so it, it takes less resources. You can you know make more copies of it, or it just basically takes less system resources for uh, in your project. Um, you can also adjust your frame rate and your export speed. So say for example, I go back into After Effects here, and I uh, play back, you can see. Yeah, it's pretty good. The hearts maybe go away a little bit too fast. Maybe I want them to linger for a little bit longer. So I can also change the export speed by going into Pop Video, changing export speed. Let's lower it by about 25%. So let's um, take this one down to about 75%, I think. So it'll be 25% uh, slower there uh, for export speed. And we'll output the entire thing. And now for your thumbnail, you can see currently it's just a, a white background there. Let's go to like a frame where we actually have hearts in the scene, like maybe, uh, you know, uh, this frame over here, for example. We have some cool hearts showing up. <laughs> cool hearts. And we can scroll in a little bit, um, you know, hold shift and left click to uh, pan over here and get a nice view of some hearts. And if we capture the display right now, it'll show those hearts in our thumbnail. And we can also go to background options if we want, have a custom black background or a pink background. Um, so if I can choose a good pink color here, something like that. Uh, if you wanted that to be your uh, thumbnail, you can do so as well. Capture display. There you go. It looks very pink and romantic. And then from that point on, that's pretty much all we want to do is change the export speed. Make sure we export with the preview size video. And it's going to export now as a transparent pop video. Of course, that background is not going to be included. So let's go ahead and uh, select export and we'll call it uh, hearts. Just save it to our desktop as a pop video file and give that a save. That should just take a minute or two. And so once this has finished uh, processing, 
we're going to import it into our iClone project and you'll see the results with the preview resolution and everything else as well. So also if you have like, you know, pre-processed chroma key, uh, you, you want to import it into iClone, this is very useful, uh, use, useful process for that as well. If you've generated nice particle effects from other software, uh, definitely uh, keep this in mind. Now, uh, the, when you change the speed as well, the audio data will be removed, so you can always re-import that later at a different speed. Um, let's go ahead and press OK for now. And now on our desktop, we should have this hearts.pop video. You can see the beautiful pink thumbnail we created right there. I'm going to simply right-click and drag this into my iClone project one more time. And it was imported in wherever. I imported it as a billboard. And align it to our character x, y, and z. And then we'll make sure it's uh, kind of up closer to his head right here. There we go. I think that should be about okay. Do something like that. And if we zoom in, then we have, you know, the hearts showing above his head like that. And if we want to reposition the hearts, even though we're at frame 72, I can, you know, adjust my uh, that camera angle and everything like this because I'm just using a preview camera right now. And we can, you know, move these hearts back. Now, uh, notice as well that the hearts are uh, casting a shadow on our character's face. So obviously, if, if we didn't want these hearts to be too realistic and casting a shadow, um, I'm going to position them here. I can also press the R hotkey and scale them up a little bit if I'd like or scale them down. Let's scale them up, I think, just something like that. So these are ways you can manipulate the video in iClone. Uh, and back to what I was originally mentioning, if you want to get rid of the shadows, then with your billboard selected, uh, this is the billboard with zero in parentheses, we can just double click this and rename it to uh, hearts, for example. Um, if you don't want it to cast a shadow, then just go over here uh, in your scene manager to all shadows and select no shadows, cast only or receive only. I'll just select no shadows and those shadows, bam, will be removed. Now, in this case, we don't want our hearts uh, billboard to be moving around or scaling because we're at frame 72. So I can right click it and select remove object animation. And that means it's going to retain that same position from frame one all the way until it terminates. So then we can, you know, position our uh, character something like this and press play, uh, just like that. All right, so that's how easy it is to, uh, you know, take an alpha video into pop video. Um, I also wanted to mention as well, we'll, we'll change the resolution. Uh, right here you can see we have preview resolution. Uh, before I go here, I'll go to materials and with your resolution at preview, you can change that from preview to original and you can see the resolution change right there quite significantly. All right, so keep that in mind as well. And now if we play back, there we have that beautiful original resolution. And whenever you render the uh, video, regardless of whether you have preview set here, whenever you render it, it's always gonna render in the original resolution as well. All right, so that's really all there is to it, guys. Just a quick video on how to convert alpha videos into uh, transparent videos. Use them in your project. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot. And uh, check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.